Welcome to the Lavish Lifestyle Show, powered by Unicol and Naisha Italian Vineyards. Today we are present at Sadna Resort, which is based in Nasik and designed by architect Dhananjay Mahale in a very conceptual way. I would really like to welcome him by bottom of my heart. Welcome, Dhananjay Sam. Yes, thank you, thank you yes, so much. Sir, we find this project very much interesting. Can we know more about this? Yes, yes, of course. Let me first introduce myself. Myself, architect Dhananjay Mahale, founder of Interact Association Nasik. And today we are showcasing our project, Sadna Village Resort, situated at Govardhan Village, Nasik. And Wadas are the integral part of designing residences in, throughout the Maharashtra. And our client, Mr. Rajan Amle, originating from the old part of Nasik city, and he has stayed many years in Wadas. And when we're discussing about this point, we have decided that Wadas will be our starting point of the design. That is how we have started with Wada design. So after listening to your words, I find this place really very much interesting. I would really like to take tour of this place. Yes, yes, definitely. Let's have a tour. When we have visited the site for the first time with client, we have seen this tree, I think around 30, 40 years old. And at that point only we have decided we are going to retain this tree and we are going to use this tree for the designing of our fenestration. This resort different from the other vadas. This is the entrance of the resort. This is called Osri in the Vada culture and we have used this Osri as an entrance lobby for our hotel. Let's go inside. This is small connecting lobby which connects front Osri and front courtyard and this corridor. This is open to sky courtyard and this is heart of our resort. This courtyard called Angan in Wada culture. This is used for small events like small weddings, small gatherings. And this is open to sky again and you will feel the natural air, natural ventilation, natural sky by sitting in the courtyard itself. This is the small corridor connecting to the rooms, to the courtyard and to the lobby. And this is the small entrance of the bedrooms. This is called Mazgar uh, in Wada culture. And this is the beautiful railing. This railing is also depicted from the Wada culture. Beautiful balusters and look at the beautiful sciography effect coming on the floor. And this really adds the beauty to this corridor. Again, if you come to the entrance, these are the small khuntis being used at the sides of the door to hold this lantern. And we generally light this in no moon and look at this beautiful design uh, done by the local artisans. Every lock of this door is different and this is designed by all the local artisans. Again, this entrance of the door is also, it's like a entry to the Wada's door or uh, you can say the little Rajwada. And again, these are the small khatas, use this small lantern called Panti in Diwali and Dashera to add different flavor to all these passages, all this courtyard and all this resort. This is also a small window. It's done in like a Jaroka design, generally uh, used in Wada culture. These are all vernacular elements in Wada, makes this resort more beautiful and adds different flavor and makes different from the other Wadas, other resorts. This is a typical room in a Wada. Let's have a look inside. These are the small light fixtures in the bowl. Uh, it's been used in all the passages. It's generally used in Wadas uh, for the celebration time, or this also used in small Mahal, small Rajwada. So we have depicted them and used in this passage to have a celebrated time all the time when you visit this resort.
This is how we have kept place for the coming generations to relive traditional Maharashtrian heritage. Thank you so much.